I am Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say. Okay, young queens, let me tell y'all something. There's millions of y'all, and I mean millions of you guys who doing drag now, who want to know how to get your start, what, what's the best advice I could give y'all. Let me give y'all a couple of advice right here. Just some tips that I wanted to give y'all, and y'all could take it from here. You must love yourself regardless of the fact. You must love yourself regardless of the fact. You must be who you are. Don't go around looking like another queen and trying to pretend you're some other queen because you're never going to be that queen. The only queen you could be is yourself. No matter how much you look like the queen, no matter how many times you get mistaken for the queen, you're going to always be yourself regardless of the fact. And you really don't want to look like a queen because you don't know what another queen did on her social media or who she was arguing with and what she done done. And if somebody mistaking you for that queen, they may beat your ass and not that queen ass or whatever the case may be. So you better be careful with that. Have a fucking job. Because drag is not cheap at all. It is not a cheap event. It's very expensive. And if you don't have the money to do it, then baby, you're going to be in a whirlwind of losing and drawing. Because you're going to need some coins to get you some clothes and some, and some gear and some wigs, makeup, all that. Another thing. Take your ass somewhere and get into a damn contest. If you want people to see your talent and you want to do this... Go find you a benefit show, which is always good to do is what I recommend. Find you a contest because somewhere you got to show your talent so you to get booked. Because I don't give a damn how good you look, how fast you may hit the floor and do a shablam and lay out and bust your kneecaps, your back and all the head and stuff. Everybody's doing that. So you have to separate yourself. But you want to show your talent. Go out somewhere, find you a benefit show or some sort. And do your talent. You got to build your way up. Ain't nobody finna open up no doors and say, oh, you just started. Come on over here, baby. Let's do this. There's been a lot of bitches who have been working for tables and chairs, sweet loves, that you young ones still have to go down that road and work for tables and chairs to keep doors open some type of way. Ain't nobody finna hand this shit over to y'all like quick like y'all think it is. It just don't happen that way. For some of us, yes. For most of us, no, it does not. You have to work for your shit. Ain't nobody got time for y'all sitting here thinking y'all better than everybody and thinking y'all going to just hop up on the stage and y'all going to get all this clout. Baby, it don't work like that. There's a lot of bitches who've been on the stage for many, many years who don't even have a clout because people don't even support them enough. So let me tell you something. You better go get in good with your local queens. Find out. Who the headliners are, meaning who's the legendary people, who's the icons in your city, and start learning stuff from there, talking to them, and trying to figure shit out, and thinking you better than everybody. And one thing you young queens need to do, and quit looking for the, quit finding a parent that's two years older than you. They don't know too much of shit. You, if you're going to have a parent, a drag parent, find somebody who's been in the business for a while and have respect for them. And hopefully somebody who's been in the business for a while could be your drag parent. I'm not the one for it, so don't come asking me. I'm not in the mood for it right now. I just ain't got time. But y'all have to understand, there is a ladder in this business that most of us have to step up and climb on. And you're going to be one of those to step up and climb. Ain't nobody going to do it for you. We just ain't. Ain't nobody going to do it. And another tricky thing is, let me tell you on this note, be careful what queens you be rude to when you coming up in your area. Period. Just be careful what queens you coming up to because you never know what queen may be the one hosting the show soon. And the worst thing and the thing you do not want is to be a rude to a bitch and all of a sudden this is the bitch with the hottest show in the city and you got to do what? Hey, girl. I know we had a pass. I want to get past that, yada, yada, yada. But I want to know, can I get a book in and all this? She could be like, yeah, girl, we cool. We can squash all that. But your ass ain't getting no booking. So you really got to pay attention on who you treating and how you treat them because you never know where they may land to where you may have to come back and say, ooh, I need to get this gig because my rent is due. And if I don't get this $50 for my rent, I'm going to fuck up out of here. So you have to be careful on who you mistreat when you're coming up in the business all around town. Because you girls, a lot of y'all think y'all are, y'all demand things. Y'all think y'all are entitled to things. 
you're not entitled to a motherfucking thing, but dressing up and having some fucking fun. Because don't nobody owe y'all young ass and shit. I love y'all dearly, but y'all don't nobody owe y'all young ass and shit. Y'all don't even know too much of shit. All you think you really know is a lot of shit on YouTube, but you don't know a lot of shit. You haven't been through a lot of shit. You haven't done drag training. You haven't done nothing. And the pageant is a good way to get your ass trained. Why? Because you have to change clothes and looks like this. You don't have time to play. They can't say, oh, hold on, because she's not ready. They're not going to give you that in a pageant. So get your ass in the pageant so you can get some wardrobe built up. You have months to decide what to wear for evening gown, swimsuit, even, uh, sportswear, presentation. You have time to get it together. But when she's there. That speed, pace you have to do with getting yourself ready will get your ass prepared for the life of drag. Because it's not all, oh, I'm glamorous, I got to sit down. And baby, when you in the show, you got to go back there and change them clothes quick. Ain't nobody got time to be playing, oh, let me take my time and, oh, we're going to pause the show. Ain't nobody pausing no fucking shows for y'all. Get your ass prepared. So, there go a couple of tips for me. Get you a benefit show. Those are always good. You should always do benefit shows anyway. And then you find you some contests to get up in. But be yourself. Love yourself. Know who you are. Have your have in your mind who you want to be in drag. Express yourself. And have fun with it. Because nobody's going to give you shit with a bad attitude. And don't nobody owe you shit. Hell, don't nobody owe me shit. So guess what? Don't nobody owe your ass shit, youngins. Get it together and keep drag as a beautiful thing and not this old hatred thing that we got going on. We have to like, we some gangsters in drag. Ain't nobody no gangster in no fucking drag. Our balls tucked back. Got on fake titties and hips and all them. Baby, come on. We way better than that. I know we better than that. But the young ones, please. Get y'all just. Love y'all.